daylight saving time. That means I'm going to lose one hour of sleep or gain <laughs> one hour of daylight so I can work longer in my garden. So this one is my, I call it prickly dick. Okay, by the way, where did, my brother's name is Richard, but we don't call him Dick. So it's common English name we're in. If your name is Richard, you're given the nickname Dick. So I don't know where that originated from, but anyway, same as Robert. Then a neighbor across the road is Robert and his name, we call him Bob. Anyway, this is my prickly Dick, otherwise known as Trichocerios. Bridge CI. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but monstrous form. So, or otherwise known as the penis cactus. I was cackling when I first got it, and it is so cute. <laughs> so, one <laughs> fat one and one skinny one. So, penis cactus. Look at it. Isn't that cute? And recently, my friend Jem gave me a baby penis cactus. It's actually prickly dick better than penis cactus. So, look, it's almost like identical. Ouch, I got a prickly dick. <laughs> I got prick. Okay. Now, see? Look at it. Isn't that cute? Look, op opposing side. Depends if I plant it this way. So, but anyway, I'm going to put that there. So, thank you so much, Jimmy Jam, for my prickly dick. Same time yesterday, it was only one o'clock. So, now it's two o'clock. And look how strong the sun is. But anyway, I'm not supposed to show you something there. But anywho, I am going to work in the garden today. I need to remove a lot of stuff so I can put in. Okay, so I don't have room to move around. See how? So if I go here, my foot, I can't step here. I have to step like so over here. That's my exercise. Acrobatic. And this... Monroe needs to be cleaned out. All Monroe's are one, two, three. So I'm putting them all in the garden. So as this brave, I need to do a new arrangement. I just have some new stuff that I potted up that I put there. But anywho, you get to see all my mess. I have to gingerly walk around here. So all these plants and these pots that I've been growing for a couple of years has to go in the garden because I got no room. Look, even the weeds are growing in there. And there's a pot of rosemary I need to do and then those bamboo that I've grown and put together has to go in the garden as well but anyway let's go out and see the mess in the garden what we can do the elm tree needs to be chop 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 because I only wanted that this actually wildly grown or grown from seeds droppings from the birds but i don't really want that elm tree there but it's good to hang stuff in it now this one is sinisho citriformis it has survived the frost being here and it's gone long i need to do all of this and are you a juga no pulminaria sorry i got a juga it's this one i think and that one is pulminaria and look gorgeous flowers so it'd be nice to put it in there so and also all those shade cloth has to come down i can hear buzzing noise all the bees are all out i think they're all over my time over there it's just but anywho there you go that's looking better already so now i can enjoy my iris is about to bloom 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 and look i got yellow and blue over there so i will never ever take out the <laughs> iris because they're so pretty but anyway so imagine this wall i need to put a couple of plants in there now and i can see better but this ones has got to go somewhere else this two that sort of suffered what do you call this one Ceratostigma. Ceratostigma is so hard to say. So I only got it for $6. It was on sale. Now I need to remove you. And I have to leave this area or let this area breathe. Because a lot of them, look, I put some pansy in there. So we're going to have some pansies there. And then 
come follow me because yesterday so I have to remove that and also this area already planted a little bit of my Mexican giant and also what are you a green one sorry a green one that one I'm gonna put a lot more plants hello how are you now also I have to clean up my Fred Ives and I have to reset this remove dry leaves of course clean it up and reset that put some new plants in there I still have to fill this up yesterday look I went plant shopping I have a whole heap of plants here that is going to go into this area but before I do that I have to clear out all that Santolina that I planted at the front it was a, a good idea at the time because I thought they were only grow small but it has grown so much so I need to clear this out and of course it's like a jungle out here but if I set aside say two hours a day to clean this out it only take me a week so in seven days it'll be all nice and clean so but anywho I'm just gonna show you this one this is my new fire pit planter now I was gonna do a video of how I put this planter together but it was at the end of winter and springtime they got rid of their fire pits at Bunnings my local hardware store so I got it really cheap and so I got a big one and a small one so I can create this a succulent fire pit in line with uh, the theme of fire I put some gold nuggets or golden nuggets semper vivum so beautiful and that one especially there look how red that is look at that look how beautiful that is so anyway this area here hardly gets any sun at all so this is two o'clock but from 10 o'clock we only get morning sun and from 10 o'clock to the whole day it's in the shadows because there's this house on my right hand side <laughs> that's blocking all the sun so the only area that i can have sun is over on that side of the garden and so now i decided that after cleaning up all the santolina and maybe that lomandra as well i don't know i might still get rid of that but or just leave a little but depends how i feel because the garden dictates what i do to it so after chopping off a lot of the hedges and maybe this one, I really, really like this plant. I forgot what it's called now, but I will remember. But anyway, the deities, that's it, the flower. I just love the flower, but it still needs thinning out because it's just gone so big. So maybe I'll just chop it all down and that way it I can contain it, make keep it small. And car across the road, new neighbors. We got new neighbors. This one, look how beautiful that is with all that gorgeousness and also the Sedevaria Starburst or Graptosedum Francesco Baldi is just an underrated plant it's one of those plants that you are succulents that you put in your garden it just does its thing and together with this Sedum I forgot now what are you called uh, then look at that beautiful beautiful combination isn't it so but it needs something else I might still put something else in there to sort of have three different elements in it but this just looks fantastic I don't even look after it I just leave it and then it always looks good all year round and this one needs to be cut and the weeds taken out and yes also my cactus garden area now I have an idea now of what cactus can survive our weather so I need to put in a lot more cactus there and of course oh what are you all this ground cover look flowering they're so pretty I don't really want to take them out because I really like the look of them but what I need to do is put some pots here also the lavender I like the lavender so I might just chop that off just trim it that way it'll still grow but that sassify is just causing havoc everywhere it's just growing this one I actually uh, tried it it tastes like oyster so but anyway 
if there's um, an Am Armageddon end of the world happening, like Walking Dead, <laughs> which is, I think the last episode, is that tomorrow it starts? So anyway, <laughs> um, the then I can live on Sassifa <laughs> and all the succulents in my garden. Oh, I just saw this video on Facebook. Someone eating succulents. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but that is just ridiculous. So anyway, you're not coming into my house. You're not eating my plants. So and then the comment there was someone who commented saying it's like saying like I have pet dogs or you have pets and he's going to come and eat my pets. This big pot here, I already drilled a hole because I'm putting it over there after I clean it up. So put it say here need to move that away that log and then have that one there that would be beautiful a big pot of succulents look at Ch Ch the apis oh my goodness it's so beautiful that's also apis agave over here so it's already growing past the path in a way it's good that way no one will come here and they get pricked but look how sharp that pointy bit is dangerous so i was going to put some little bulls or bees on it but uh, for the meantime i'm just going to chop it and also remove a lot of the pups and that one there i can now plant that onto the other side which someone had the liberty of taking off so i've got a one a two agave and then i can have another agave here and anyway guys that's all i've got for you now i gotta go chop chop work in the garden and look it's just all messy but i have this little uh fire drum it wasn't a fire drum it was a heater that i upcycled and put some petunia it's not actually petun petunia never mind i forgot but anyway flowering plants uh, cottage garden plants but then now I'm gonna put cactus because Jamie Jam gave me this big cactus that I can put in there so anyway I haven't tried this one are you edible I'm actually gonna try one of you and see what it tastes like so anyway guys I'll see you on the next video oh look see it's covering my succulents time to work in the garden see how uh, they're all the agave have to chop 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 and clean up so even this one look what a mess but the good thing about it, it stops people from <laughs> taking succulents so oh, look see how beautiful the Francesco Baldi is but anywho guys really this is it I really really need to get cracking because this one's all the weeds in here is not good and this area will be closed off so that way it'll be more private and I'll plant all those little shrubberies that I've got in the pot there. Okay, I managed to free my hand. I got the camera on my mouth. Hold on. And how you go, Papa? And oh, now we put the lettuce, the lettuce. Uh, that one's for hubby and this one's for moi. Oh, hello, baby oh, P. Are nice. you waiting for daddy's lunch? Look at him, like all slumped up so comfortably. Oh, you won't like that. It's tuna, eh? You only like your prawns and your lobster. Oh, he loves tuna. Yeah. Tuna? Yeah, he loves but tuna. Is it the spicy one? No, that's just a standard one. Oh, you're closing your eyes. Eh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <You're going to sleep. laughs> My coffee is cold. You can see it's cold, but doesn't matter. It's still hot actually if you think about it now i'm gonna have a bite of my crunchy tuna mm.